I'm going to show you how to create a free website and by the end of this video you're going to have something that looks like this where I'm going to show you kind of how to customize everything that you see here and in order to do this we're going to use something called Dynadot. Now let's go over to my screen here in case you haven't heard of Dynadot they are primarily a domain name registrar uh, but they do also have this website builder and the thing that I found interesting about this was that not only do they have their free plan which we're going to test out today but they also have a pro plan that is just $20 a year. So if you know anything about web hosting prices, $20 a year is very, very cheap. That comes out to be just $1.66 per month. Now, when you compare the pro version to the free version, free version, you only get one page. Pro version, you get unlimited pages. Uh, they both have the drag and drop builder. There will be Dynadot ads, which is a watermark essentially on the free version. You don't get that with the paid version. And then you just get a half a gigabyte of storage on the free version, whereas the pro version has unlimited storage. Now, I personally have never used the Dynadot uh, website builder before. So we're gonna go through this process together today. Um, and the reason that is the case is because if you click here, start with free website builder, you cannot, you you need to buy a domain name through Dynadot in order to use this service, right? You can't, if you already have a domain name registered somewhere else, you would either have, you would either have to transfer it to Dynadot um, or buy a new one through Dynadot. There is no free subdomain name or anything. Uh, in other words, you just have to have your domain name registered with Dynadot. So we're gonna do that today too. So let's search for a domain. I was in here earlier and I saw that they do have a special right now, early 2025, uh, for $1.17 for a year registration for a .sbs, which seems like side-by-side -side domain name. So let's see if they have Tony Teaches Tech .sbs, and they do. It's available for $1.17, and it's already been added to my cart. So let's go through that process check out. And I thought this was interesting. So I, I was in here earlier. I did not go through the checkout process, but it does say there are four free add-ons, right? So you expand this, there's four free add-ons. One of them is the website. So if you actually click on this to upgrade uh, the, the website, so it adds the pro version to your cart, even though it said it was a free add-on. So uh, let's get rid of that. And we'll just check out with our domain name right now. Go ahead and enter your payment information. They have credit card as an option, Apple Pay, PayPal, a couple other options here. And I'll submit that order. All right, and almost instantly it says, thank you for your order. Continue below to set up your free email and website in just two minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna skip over the email right now since we just wanna focus on the website. And here we go. So choose a template for your website. Um, I did look through these before. They have a decent selection of free website templates that you can choose from. I kind of liked this one here, the one with a full page kind of background image. It's called Compass. So let's go ahead and go through the process with the Compass template. All right, it says Tony teaches tech.sbs is ready. You finish setting up all the free add-ons go to manage domain. So let's see what this is all about. All right, so this just looks like a list of the domains that I have associated with my account. Uh, what we're interested in today is probably under here, my websites. And yes, so we have a free website under this domain. Let's go ahead and edit that site. And right away, it's asking us if we want to upgrade our site builder plan. Well, we don't know yet, we haven't used it. So uh, I don't see an Xbox. Yep, let's just click and get out of that. All right, it's also asking us, please upgrade your site builder plan. Click here to upgrade. We do not want that. We'll get out of here. Okay, so anytime I use a new product for the first time, especially web hosting, I like to see what it looks like uh, fresh out of the box, what you get off the shelf. So let's publish our website. And it says that our website is published, but again, we get prompted to upgrade to uh, the, paid, uh, the paid version of the free website hosting. Um, it's just saying that content you create using paid tools will not appear on the publishing page. Okay, so let's view the website. And we get, uh, looks like a 404 DNS probe finished. Okay, so let me try, a reload's not helping. Okay, maybe it's a DNS propagation thing. I'll let it slide for now. Let's go through the customization in the meantime. Okay, so right off the bat, we're at the main menu here. They have website builder statistics and user. Let's go into website builder. And it seems like they have 
you know, four different categories of options. So they have tools here, which this just seems to be, you know, text, image, video. These are drag and drop elements that you can put onto your web page like this. And I guess click to edit. Uh, yes, so Tony teaches tech. And then let's make that a little bit bigger. We'll change the font size, make that 48 bold and change the font itself. Oh, okay, this looks like some type of AI feature. So let's see what this is all about. Generate new text. Uh, based on my input, it's thinking. Okay, Tony teaches tech. Welcome to Tony teaches tech. We're simply, okay, let's go ahead and insert that. All right, not bad. Uh, it didn't replace our original text, so let's get rid of that ourselves. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. And it does seem like, just real quick here, that their editor does mimic like a, a Microsoft Word type of um, functionality with all your options up here. Uh, you can right align that just as you would in Microsoft Word. And then let's see about editing the existing content on here. So this uh, seems like to be a gallery of images. And uh, if you wanna edit that, maybe we click on the settings. Yes, so let's edit the image. Okay, so this is like a full screen image editor, which actually uh, edit the image itself, not change it, but edit it. Cancel out of that. Ah, so if we wanted to replace the image, we would do that. Um, let's see if they have any images. Ah, cool, so they connect. Uh, if you're not familiar, Unsplash and Pixabay, these are all stock image websites, so it looks like they have a connection to them. So you can pretty much, um, let's, it seems like a hiking themed website. So let's look for hiking pictures instead of this one right here, and we'll pick this mountain one, add image. Okay, so that just, that just adds it to our library. So now we can save that there. So that replaced the image. Okay, so we lost all the formatting that was here before, but I think you get the idea. That's kind of how uh, you can modify the existing template that was given to us. Let's back on out of here and go into the editor. So uh, first glance, it seems like this will change certain attributes of the page itself. So the logo max height, which is this guy. Um, that Okay, so that can make it smaller, just not any bigger than that. And then we'll come back here, navigation. So this is uh, up here, I'm assuming. So nav tabs are black, the background's gray with a little bit of opacity, the spacing. Okay, that'll increase the spacing of the vertical height. And then the links, if we wanted to make those a little bit bigger, ah, that's much better, I like that actually. And the letter spacing, that's fine. So you do have a bunch of um, customization here. And then we'll go back out of here. Now the header, I'm um, assuming that's this whole bar at the top. Just like before, we could swap that out for something else. And when you click add image, it doesn't seem like it takes you to the same um, library of images that we saw before. That's okay. I have a couple here on uh, my computer that we can work with. So let's do this one. Oh, it's too big. Uh, it can only be 10 megabytes. Let's try again. There we go. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So that looks pretty good. Um, let me see if we can click and edit in here. I don't think you can. Let's Maybe we can edit it over here. Oh, it's not the top header font. It's the header font. And that's already maxed out at 100 pixels. We can't go any bigger than that. Uh, but we can make it bold and then we can change the font. All right, that's nice. So we'll go with that for now. Padding, uh, that'll increase the size of our header. All right, and then the button text, that's this button right here. We can make that bigger, change the color to, I don't think we want red. Let's keep it white. And then I'm assuming if we wanna change the button color, it's right here, that makes sense. Okay, so that stuff is pretty straightforward. Um, I think we get the idea and then the content. So, right, so this is the background for um, the page itself. So like we thought earlier, we can change that to a different shade. Maybe we'll do like a light blue, something like that. And then it looks like you have control over each individual type of header. So like your H1, how big that shows up. Your H2, same thing with that. Uh, looks like we don't have any H2s, but that's okay. And then general padding. Uh, for the whole page, it seems. And next, let's go to pages. Now, I do remember a limitation of this is that we only get one page. So our services page about blog, contact, those are probably not gonna work. Uh, everything has to be on this one page here. So 
might as well get rid of these delete and as you can see we're deleting these pages they disappear from the menu up here okay and then finally we have settings general the site title um, let's call this Tony goes hiking and here's where your logo image can change or be replaced and a couple other options here including the fave icon which uh, let's go ahead and pick one for that that's this little icon up here Let's upload something. How about just a little smiley face guy? All right, we'll save those changes. And it doesn't seem like anything happened right now, but maybe when we go to the published website, we'll see that show up. All right, next up, we have an SEO section here where you can put in a site description, which will show up in search results if Google chooses to use that. Uh, and these other features here, including Google Analytics link, will be uh, premium features only. You'll have to pay for the service in order to access that. Uh, so let's back out of here and then domain, we already have that connected. We're good to go there. Animations. Okay. So these are just uh, while your page is loading, if it does take a, a while, these are some options for what that'll look like. And then checkpoint. Okay. So this is like a version history for your website. So you can, in the free version, manually create um, saved versions of your website, but if you want that to automatically happen, then you'll have to upgrade to the paid plan. Okay, so choose plan is just, uh, if you do want to upgrade to the pro plan, choose template. We can reset the template to the original version or pick an entirely new one here if you don't like that. And it also seems like they have this um, AI website builder option too. We won't go through that in this tutorial though. And then finally, these other two features for, you know, an e-commerce store and uh, cookie settings, those are also premium features. So we won't explore those in this video. All right, the moment of truth. We've done some editing and some customization. Uh, we've given the website a little bit of time in order to uh, propagate the DNS. So let's cross our fingers and see if our website will publish this time. So let's go ahead and just save it for good measure. And then we'll click on the publish button, see what happens here. We get that same prompt, go ahead and view the website and it's connection is not private. So it's trying to load an HTTPS version of the website, but for some reason the certificate uh, is invalid. Um, I'm not sure if they do. I didn't see any settings with as far as, uh, excuse me, as far as security is concerned, maybe it's down here. Okay, so in your dashboard, they have this section called My SSL. I don't have an SSL certificate. Let's click on that. Okay, so I see where this is going. I think they're going to charge you for an SSL certificate. Let me do a quick Google search, see if we get one for free. Actually, let's do one better. Let's talk to the support team and see if they can help us out with this. Okay, so I just asked them... Uh, Given the URL, I'm using the free website builder. Does it come with an SSL certificate for free? Let's see what they say. Okay, so the customer support agent just said that it could take one to two hours for the SSL to be applied. So that's what's going on here. Okay, so like 15 minutes later, I came back in here and I was able to access the live site. So if you come back up here, click on publish, view website, it will take you to our website with uh, a proper SSL certificate. We don't get that warning anymore. We have our fave icon up here and everything's showing up as we would expect it, all the modifications and customizations we made. Now, I did also wanna point out the watermark down here, the Dyna.ad for um, other people who visit your website. That is a limitation unless you do upgrade to a paid plan with Dynadot. On the screen here are some of the limitations we encountered with Dynadot's free web hosting. And if these are deal breakers for you, I want to make you aware of another web hosting option called Elementor that instead of one page gives you hosting with unlimited pages, with Elementor, you can register your domain name anywhere. You won't have watermarks. Your storage is more than sufficient and there's not gonna be the constant reminder to upgrade. Even if you did choose to go with the paid Dynadot plan, you're still locked into the Dynadot ecosystem and that's another area where Elementor shines. Elementor is WordPress hosting that's built on top of the Google Cloud platform has dozens of drag and drop widgets that allow you to customize your website in really neat ways and also a robust integrated AI website builder that can not only build your entire website for you, but also help you along the way with content generation. 
Elementor is the sponsor of this video and I have a link for you in the description down below to get you started. Thank you Elementor for sponsoring this video.